So you're making a bit of a reputation for yourself, playing these kind of supporting roles, sometimes villains, and almost stealing the movie in a way. I mean, when are you going to get the big lead role in one of these big Hollywood blockbusters? I don't know, you know, it's a kind of uh, reactive profession. I've got to wait for somebody out there to think it's about time now to do that. I mean, I can't really sit at home and say, I'm going to do that now. I mean, uh, I, I, stuff comes my way, and if I relate to it and can do something with it, then I'll do it. But, you know, it's, it's coming. It's been a great summer for you, though. Kick-ass and now Robin Hood. I mean, did you expect this five, six years ago when you were... No, no, when I started, no, no, when I started, you know, in the movies and thought, that is what I really want to do, you have, oh, well, I had no idea what would happen. It's funny, though, that it's all these movies, Sherlock and Kick-Ass and Robin Hood, all come out at the same time, because I don't know if you know what happened. Uh, originally, Robin Hood was meant to go, which meant I couldn't do the other two, but because it was postponed, I was able to do the other two, and because Guy and Matthew are mates, they let me do them at the same time. So suddenly it feels like, you know, I've been working non-stop, and the truth is, it just all fitted in. Do you think there would be a sequel well, to I'm be set here, up for number two if this one does? Well. You know, everything, everything these days is done with a mind to a sequel, and we can be cynical about that and think, you know, it's not a good thing. But the truth is, you know, if people enjoy a movie and they want to see another one, then it gives you the opportunity to make that other one. It would be a shame to think you see some fantastic film and then that's it, you know.